welcome to St. Sean Vlog and I'm checking in to Buckle Street Studios. Let's head up and check it out. Upstairs is a mezzanine level where you can do some work. There's a little radio station in there, which is pretty cool. Ornament. It's outside. And there's another area down here. Behind that door are toilets. And then another working area. An event space. We have events here as well. My shoes are sticking. So it's pretty cool. Let's head up to the room for the room tour. I am in room 209, which is one of the studios, and you have a little card to get into the room, which then immediately goes in this slot, which turns on the lights, and they are dimmer switches, so you can control the lighting. Let's shut this door and show you around this room. Now, it is a small room, but I think it will suit me perfectly. So, on the left, you have a coat hook, and then you have a little bit of information about the rooms because there is a kitchen and things like that that you can use as well. There is another hook on the bathroom door, and to the right, you have a little desk area with some funky lighting and some artwork, and a little shelf all the way along there towards the TV. So you walk further into the room, you have the light switch for the bathroom. We're going to come back to the bathroom in a second. And then you have a full length mirror with a socket on the wall. Your air conditioning is all controlled via this panel. And then you have this, which is pretty cool. And I'm not talking about the remote, but if you want to eat in bed, you can take that off and do that. That is pretty cool. There's a decent sized TV and a footstool in the bed there. There is also some sort of fake balcony. What's going on here? This is interesting to have this. No view to speak of. And then you've got the bed area. So more artwork and some flowers, some lighting and a mirror. Beside that, some vases and some books. The open wardrobe and a kettle. In those cupboards, on the right hand side you've got a safe and on the left hand side you've got a hairdryer and that kind of thing. And then you've got the bed. This is what the bed looks like. I think that's a double and four pillows there. Now let's have a look at the bathroom. The bathroom for me is a little bit dark but that's fine. So there is the throne and I've already tested that out. It is very comfortable. You have a towel rail which is heated and a nice towel there. There's the toilet roll, the sink, plenty of space underneath. And there's a little stool there, which you could put in the shower if you really needed to. You've got your waterproof towel. It's not waterproof. Why did I say it's waterproof? You've got your towel for when you get out of the shower. Everyone knows what one of those is. And your hand towels there, hand soap. That hand soap smells fantastic and the water pressure is really good. You have another little shelf with some glasses and then a giant mirror with me in it. Mm, hi everyone. And we've got a shower with a little shelf and a rainfall shower that you can move along with your soaps. And these are the soaps. We've got the from Kinsey Apothecary and we've got conditioner, salted caramel vanilla conditioner, salted caramel vanilla hair cleanse, Salt caramel vanilla hair cleanse. No body wash. Interesting. Guess you can bring your own and pop it on that shelf. And then we've got Himalayan hibiscus. Oh, body cleanse. The body wash is out here. Actually, you have to keep putting your hand out. Interesting. It's not hand soap, it's body wash. So this is the room. I am now going to head out for some dinner. It's about a 30 minute walk away from here where I'm going. So I'll take you along with me and show you a little bit of London on this lovely sunny day. And I'll show you what I get to eat as well. I'm going for some ramen, hopefully. And then we'll come back and in the morning, I'll give you my review of the hotel, how comfortable the bed was, how well I slept and how good the shower was.
It's now the next morning, so before I give you my, the four reasons why I would not recommend staying here and why I won't stay here again, let's talk about a few of the positives of this hotel. So it's location, and I always talk about location in these hotel uh, tour videos. This location is pretty good. There's lots of bars and restaurants. There's a gentleman's club around the corner if you really want it. Not for me, but it's there if you need it. Lots of pizza places. There's a large variety of types of restaurant, including all of the Indian restaurants up and down Brick Lane. You've got Thai, you've got Japanese. There's, there's a large variety. And it's only about a 10, 15 minute walk to the Tower Hill area where St. Catherine's Docks is on Liverpool Street. So there's lots of restaurants and things and bars around there as well. I went to Berm Bermondsey High Street last night. That was about a 30 minute walk each way. So again, not too far um, if, if you want to go down there. And I'd recommend checking out that area because it is very nice. And again, lots of nice restaurants and bars. So location, spot on for, the, for this area. It is down a bit of an alleyway, but that's not a problem. And it is next door to its sister hotel, the Lehman Lock, which I think are apartments. So you, you've got the facilities of both hotels by staying here. You can pop over the road and use the gym in that one. And that's also where the main bar and restaurant is for the two hotels as well. I would say the bed itself um, was reasonably comfortable. The mattress uh, is probably a number seven medium firm, um, but it does have a mattress topper, which helps a little bit. Um, it was reasonably comfortable. The pillows, as per usual, were pretty rubbish in, in these hotels. And although I did find one pillow halfway through the night, that was fairly decent, but the rest of them were, were pretty rubbish. The TV is really, really good and lots of good choice on there. And they've got a WhatsApp service so that you don't have to ring down to reception or go down there. You can just WhatsApp them um, and ask for things. And also get, they also give you loads of information when you check in. So that's pretty cool. I did need to use the WhatsApp service and that'll come into uh, some of those four negatives. Should never really have to contact reception for anything, but I did have to um, in this in this hotel. I would say uh, the location is very quiet as well, actually. And the shower um, was really, really hot and powerful. Although do be careful when you use it, turn the knob towards the wall to get the rain shower. If you turn it the other way, the wand will just squirt straight out. And the way that they had the shower set up when I was using it was the rainfall was behind the door. So I had to turn it on and twist it and then the water came out, but not, not a big deal. Just be careful when you're using that. The best thing about this hotel and this room though, for me, is, is the toilet reese. Even though the body wash is outside the shower, it smelled fantastic and the shampoo smelled amazing as well. So they're really, really good. Now in terms of some, some negatives. So one of the first things to point out is everyone needs beside the bed on both sides there. You need sockets to plug your things in. You also need a light switch to turn all of the lights off, but guess what? This room doesn't have that. I did find the sockets behind the headboard, like they're hidden behind the headboard and you can plug your thing in, but when my phone vibrated this morning, after it's do not disturb time, vibrated the whole headboard, it was really loud and really annoying. So not really a good place to actually have a socket in your phone there, in, in my opinion. And the two light switches behind there are only for those two little lights on the headboard. There is no master light switch. So when I was trying to turn the lights off last night, I had to go around, there's about 10 different light switches in this room and 10 different lights, I had to go around and turn every single one of them off, which is very annoying. Why is there not a master one right beside the bed to turn them all off? That would be really handy, right? Hmm. So that's the, the charging sockets. Um, there is a light in the room, a green light. And I messaged reception about this and said, can you turn this green light off? It's very bright and it's up there. And apparently it's the emergency light, and that's fine. Like most most hotels have them. Some of them are annoying, some of them are not. This one was very bright and very annoying. Made it very difficult to sleep. So that's one reason why I wouldn't stay here again, is because the room ends up very bright, even though the curtains are closed and the lights are off. So that's the one, one, one of the four reasons. I would also say that this hotel is very noisy. So I, I'm hearing every other person shower and I don't just mean like a little bit of water. I'm meaning I can hear everyone showering. And in the middle of the night, when someone went in the room next door, I nearly died when I woke up because it was so loud, the door beside mine. 
so the walls are a little bit thin. That's another reason why I wouldn't stay here. And the last reason, and again another one, why I had to contact reception, was the aircon. It was very warm in this room last night, and even though they've got that device on the wall, you can't use it. It doesn't let you change the, te the temperature. Um, and I actually got a message last night that said centrally controlled, although when I've videoed it this morning, it's not showing up for some reason. So I had to WhatsApp them, can you change the temperature? Can I change the temperature? And they said, we'll have to do it from down here. What temperature do you want? That's a little bit annoying. Why, why do I have to contact them to agree a temperature? No, let, let, me, let me control it so that I'm comfortable because everybody's going to be different and doesn't want 22 degrees, which was the default. That's pretty warm. So this is the studios at Buckle Street by Lehman Lock. Um, I personally won't stay here again, but if all of those things that I mentioned don't really bother you, go for it. It was £110. Personally, there's lots of other hotels in this area. I would choose to stay at one of them. The Clayton's next door, and that normally doesn't cost that much more. So if you can get a good price on that, go and stay there because that's a brilliant hotel. And so is the Hyatt place. That's a little bit further along the road as well. You've also got the Leonardo, the Tower Hill. They're, they're not too far away, 10, 15 minutes away from this hotel. And then you've got Premier Inns and Travel Lodges as well. So I personally wouldn't stay here again, but I do like to try these hotels. So it was good to try it for one night. Hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll be back with another hotel review soon. Keep making memories. I'll catch you later.